as a mother and a farmer as well. We have known for many years that agriculture is the backbone of our economy. Some of you may have known. I started farming in 2010, there about 2009. And farming is very rewarding because one day there is nothing on the ground and the next day you harvest your fruits. Another day, you're collecting vegetables. So farming is a beautiful thing. When I am president of this country, we will stop just talking about agriculture being the backbone of our country. And we will put it in practical terms so that the everyday farmer can benefit and know that surely agriculture is rewarding. But more than that, the community businesses we've been talking about throughout this campaign, its major focus is on agriculture. Because every community has their own style of agriculture, whether it is about animals or plants. And as we put these community businesses in every part of this country, we will also do something extra. We will put incubation centers to support the value addition in every community. We will no longer sell our food cheaply, but we will add value to it and package it. I am not speaking from research that has been done from other places. I'm speaking from experience. As a farmer, a pineapple farmer to be more specific, for years I started to package my pineapples into juice and jam. This is a process that can be done easily. And it goes the same thing. I studied foods and nutrition, you see. So processing any food from an agricultural product to a product that can be consumed both here in Uganda and abroad, it is a very easy process. It is not complicated and any Ugandan can learn it. Ugandans may not be able to afford building factories for themselves. That is why my government is going to build incubation centers in different communities across this country so that the training will be easily available, the machinery will be easily available, and the factories will be easily available to every ordinary Ugandan. You no longer have to build your own factory. The government will build the factories and equip them. And you'll be given an opportunity to work in these factories for three years as you build your own business. And then as you go out, another group of people will also have an opportunity and the cycle will continue. I have said this before and I'll say it again. I am the most multifaceted presidential candidate Uganda has ever had. Because I have served in different industries done different kinds of work, looked for money in different spaces. When I speak about agriculture, I'm not speaking from someone's research. I'm speaking because I have walked in those shoes. When I speak about value addition and manufacturing and processing, I have done it myself. Which better leader to guide Uganda through different difficult places than one who has walked in the shoes? When I speak to the media people, I've been part of the media fraternity. When I speak to mothers, I have been a mother myself. When we speak about oil in our nation, before I resigned to start this journey, I've been working for an oil company for many years and I understand the industry. So when we're speaking about oil, most of my fellow presidential candidates do not have, they have head knowledge, but they do not have the experience. When we speak about the different sectors, I've been asked why my manifesto is the way it is. It speaks of the seven, of seven different points. Some people may know them as the seven mountains of influence of every community. 
I have served on all the seven different mountains in this country. No other presidential candidate or president has done that before. Why? Because it's been years of preparation. You see, I did not wake up a few years ago and decide because I'm disgruntled or annoyed with the current government, I'm running for presidency. My journey started when I was 14 years old. When I knew I was going to be the next president of this country, I started to study, I started to work. That's why I started to work when I was 17 years old. Some people ask, how is it possible that I have worked in different industries? It's because, as I have said before, authority comes from above. And the God who knew what I needed to do started to prepare me early. I know it is not popular to talk about God when discussing politics. But that is not something we can run away from, you see. Because authority, whether we like it or not, comes from God. And until we have God-fearing leaders in this land, we will never grow. Because the moment we separate and say we are not going to fear God as leaders, that means you can treat the people you lead as you please because you have no one to fear. You only fear the gun. Maybe that is why the rhetoric these days is we have the budget. And, they, and the government will use police and the army and their ammunition to keep Ugandans afraid because perhaps they have forgotten that there is a God who installs and dethrones kings, presidents, leaders alike. So in this time, I am telling you, I've been preparing myself for many years, mentored by different leaders, gone through different leadership schools I am a mother myself and I ask you this nation not only needs a good leader but one with a mother's heart and one that is God fearing so that this nation can finally be put right thank you